Uh, my life lesson from 2020 is to appreciate the little things and to not take them for granted. In 2020, I learned that I am capable of disassembling our dryer and reassembling it correctly to repair it on my own. And then the other life lesson that I learned in 2020 is the importance of prioritizing self-care before I can help others. So prioritizing daily lunchtime walks has really been helpful for my mental health and sanity. Surprisingly, I've learned a lot of hopeful lessons from 2020. I learned more about family because I was able to spend a lot more time with my partner and one and a half year old son. I learned a ton about community by seeing people support small local businesses and by being able to keep our music school open. My hope for 2021 is that everyone remember to take their smile with them into the new year. Change is inevitable. Take time to breathe. Things are not always as they seem. People are more important than tasks. Ride with the tide and go with the flow. Happy New Year. A uh, big lesson I learned for 2020 is just because you're right, that doesn't make the other person wrong. Think about that. And I think the lesson for me is that grief can be, not can be, grief is such a truth serum and just pure alchemy. You know, we went through so much pain, but it shakes out the truth. And moving forward, I feel that like life can only get better by moving on with the people who really do truly care for you. One of the most important lessons I've learned in 2020 is that less is more. Paring life down to the essentials makes everything sweeter and more significant. My dog is one of those essentials. A life lesson that I have taken away from 2020 would be that there is significance in the stillness. There's significance in slowing down. 2020 has been a lot of things, but it has been a year to help me realize how much slowing down and being present is so important. And so that is a life lesson that I will take away from this year. I learned to find hope in the struggle. Communities are stronger when they work together toward a common good. We cannot get through crises alone. But one thing that really surprised me was I learned that people want to create. They want to connect with other people and they do this by creating. I've heard more music, seen more painting, read more poems, seen more photographs in 2020 than ever before. And I think that that's because when we can't connect face to face, we make art to reach out and connect with our loved ones and our neighbors. And I just found that really inspiring and beautiful and hopeful.